Hey guys, it's Temple, and today we'll be making our own DIY hand sanitizer. Now we all know it's really important to have hand sanitizer in this time of the coronavirus, and hand sanitizer is gone off the shelves in all stores. So I'm gonna teach you how to make your own. What we need for this experiment is aloe vera gel, alcohol that's over 90% because alcohol is what is the most important factor in this because it kills all the germs, and some essential oils because you don't want to walk around smelling like alcohol. For my containers, they are half a cup, so I'm going to use a tablespoon to measure the amount that goes in because you need one part aloe vera gel and three to four parts of alcohol. I have my tablespoon and I'm going to squirt two things of aloe vera. And the aloe vera is what makes hands soft because if you use alcohol, if you ever use alcohol on yourself, it kind of dries your skin out. So the aloe vera is for soothing. Um, you should have alcohol, uh, aloe vera laying around in your house because um, I used to use it on cuts and burns, good for that. And I use it for my natural hair. So I'm putting six of these into this. You're gonna want to mix that up, mix it up really good because sometimes the aloe vera doesn't really blend in with the alcohol that well. So you want to mix it up really, really nice, really, really good. Get it all in there together. That's how it looks. It's not all the way um, in there, so it's not all the way mixed in. Now you're gonna add a few drops of your essential oils just to make it smell really good. And I'm using lemon because I like the smell of lemon because it's just fresh and citrusy and lemon is overall a good smell. So I mix that in too. Make sure you get it in there really, really good. You don't want anything left over because it's all very important. See here. All done. Smells really, really good. And you have this. And you're gonna pour this into your container. all of that in there put your top back on you want to give it another show that smells really good the lemon smells really good in there but you want to give it a good shake and mine is not as thick as normal hand sanitizers are because i like using all natural ingredients i got the aloe vera from a health store and the alcohol was just around my house so you get that and this is what it looks like you're gonna pour that on your hands it smells really good it makes my hands feel really soft I created some earlier, I did one that spray because sometimes you may put more than you actually need um, on your hands from the ones where you just can pour it out. So you would just put that on there. So you're going to label it just in case you don't know. And that's how you make your own DIY hand sanitizer. And this is really important for the times we're in right now, not only because we're out of hand sanitizer, but you always want to stay safe and stay clean. And we all know that nothing beats washing your hands. But if you can't wash your hands, you don't have the time to, hand sanitizer is the second most effective. Follow me, subscribe to me, follow me on all social medias, Just Temple. Make sure if you do this experiment, you tell me how it works out for you. Send pictures, DM me on Instagram. Have a good day.